Hello, in this video, I will show you how to install UISP on your own server. Ubiquiti has announced that its legacy UISP cloud hosting services will be discontinued after January 1, 2025. As a result, you will need to either pay for hosting, purchase a device, or host using your own server. To install, I recommend to use a Hyper-V or VMware to create a virtual machine. You can install either Ubuntu or Debian on your PC, however, I recommend using a virtual machine to simplify recovery and backup processes when needed. In this tutorial, I will use Windows Hyper-V in the Ubuntu operating system. You have Atlias quad-core processor and a 8GB of RAM for the host PC. To start, activate Hyper-V from your host PC or server. You need to add Hyper-V on your PC. If you already add Hyper-V, go to Start and run Hyper-V to configure. To have access from external network, you need to create a virtual switch. Now create a virtual machine. You can select the location for saving your virtual machine. I'll go with the default option. Use Generation 1. From 4 gigabytes to 8 gigabytes of RAM is more than sufficient for the USB server. Choose the virtual network you just created. Also, you have the option to rename and change the storage size of your virtual machine. Next, locate the Ubuntu installer on your PC. To download the Ubuntu installer, head over to the Ubuntu website and grab the most recent ISO file available. Once you've set up a virtual machine, connect to it and begin the installation of Ubuntu. Verify that the correct bootable Ubuntu option is selected, then click Start. If you're new to installing Ubuntu, simply follow these steps.
open terminal. Before you begin, you need to install curl to proceed with the UISP command. Type sudo apt install curl. Type your password to proceed. It's recommended to copy the command directly from the Ubiquiti website and paste it into the terminal. Installation done. It is recommended to set your IP address to manual. Using your Ubuntu IP address, browse it to your web browser. For the host name, you can choose to leave it as the default, although it's best to use your public IP address. However, if you have a domain name, I highly recommend using that instead. The USP server has been successfully installed and configured. Go to your router or internet gateway.
this is your US port number. To access from anywhere, you need to set a port forwarding to your router. Please take note, you need to set port forwarding to all these ports. All ports pointing to your IP address. On your router, add your USB server IP address to port forwarding. This settings may vary on your router brand and model. In my case, I am using Cisco. If you're using Edge Router, please check my tutorial video. Next, open a new tab and check your public IP address. I will access my other PC remotely to verify if port forwarding is functioning correctly. Using any desk, I will remote my PC at home to open my new USB server remotely. Test successful. I can open and log in to my new USB server from anywhere. If you enjoyed the content, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and your subscription to my channel. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.